Why is there something rather than nothing? This is one of the great unanswered questions of philosophy. But in this theory, the question is moved from philosophy to physics and explained as a physical process. This is done by explaining the universe as a continuum based on one universal process of energy exchange. At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking relative to the atoms of the periodic table. The reason why there is something rather than nothing is that a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking will naturally form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation. This is because in such a process the future is not based totally on uncertainty. It is based on broken symmetry relative to the structure of the atoms. When the spherical symmetry is broken, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. It is because these spirals are formed out of broken symmetry that they are never perfect. There is an incredible diversity of objects that have formed the Fibonacci spiral, and the only thing they have in common is that their spirals were all formed over a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This is logical in this theory because the future is continuously unfolding with an exchange of photon energy relative to the atoms of the periodic table. Each photon vibration only occurs once, but the process of energy exchange is continuously forming the movement of positive and negative charge. This process forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we measure as a period of time. When objects in our everyday life touch and interact, it is electric charge that comes in contact. Every movement we take and every thought we make, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. The same process is responsible for all the properties of the chemical elements that we have in the periodic table, including all chemical bonding with an exchange of photon energy whenever the bonds form or break. In such a theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer, forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. The uncertainty of everyday life is formed at the smallest scale of this process by light interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds each atom. This process is relative to the different structures that the atoms form with different phase changes in matter changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures At high temperature we have a phase change in matter and the same process unfolds at a much larger scale in the form of plasma. If we look up at the heavens we see this process unfolding in its most simple form with spherical stars and spiral galaxies. At such high temperatures in the form of plasma charge can cover a whole star or even a large area of interstellar space. This can be seen during a solar eclipse when magnetic field lines can be seen in the Sun's outer corona. This forms one of the most prominent parts of this process with photon energy cascading down from the Sun forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization, and also greater degrees of freedom for the complexity and diversity of cell life. This can be seen with the build-up and organization of positive and negative charge being relative to the membrane of each living cell. This spherical geometry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station 
with a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. In our everyday life, fire would take on the same spherical symmetry if the symmetry was not broken by this universal process of energy exchange that forms the potential for the ever-changing world of our everyday life, forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. Spherical geometry will naturally form three-dimensional space and we have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere. In this theory these line symmetries represent an infinite number of potential timelines for future possibilities and opportunities. Intelligent life will form its own evolutionary path out of these potential line symmetries and because this is a geometrical process, with life an integral part of the process, this line symmetry will be visible in the physical shape of intelligent life in the form of left and right handedness. This process forms a potential infinity of possibilities with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder. Within such a process, the greatest probability is that greater beauty and symmetry will arise. Below I have placed a link to a video that explains the mathematics that represents this geometrical process. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.